Hey YouTube, uh, David here, Richter Scale Studios. Welcome to part four of, um, I guess it was the chopper two, but that's kind of out of the picture now since we have the mold made. And now we're gonna make a silicone mold. So let's show you my setup real quick. I have a uh, 10 CFM vacuum pump. I have a vacuum chamber by Vacuit Pro. I believe I got all this stuff off of eBay. Inside there, I put a brick and some weights to kind of give some displacement so it's not so much, um, since we're only uh, taking one of these cups, these solo cups of uh, a little bit of, uh, barely any kind of um, silicone in it so um, we don't have to displace so much air. So I have my mold ready, I got my electronic scale. Uh, we got the um, actual silicone, this is Mold Max 30 by uh, Smooth On. I don't know if I can see it, let's see if I can give you some. This is a 10 to 1 mix. And they do recommend degassing. I like degassing all my silicones and all my resins just for, you know, have the equipment, why not use it? Uh, here's my uh, rocket release. I will spray that into the mold and I have like an old acid brush that I'll kind of get it all around there so we get a good um, uh, a, uh, mix of that in there. Then over here, I have my little uh, Husky uh, air compressor hooked up to, this was a Harbor Freight uh, paint sprayer converted to a pressure chamber uh, Buddy of mine you've seen in previous videos. This is the shelving system you built me That is a refrigerator level and I use that every time to make sure when you get the mold in there You get a nice, you know, the molds uh, level when it uh, pressurizes and sets So it's a nice little uh, added feature to have in that and um, look at I am gloved up and Got my glasses on just in case anything explodes or uh, some kind of uh, unfortunate event takes place. So I'll be back in a second and we'll get started on this process. Thanks for joining me. Hi, we're gonna prep the mold first and get it ready so uh, the silicone doesn't stick in it. So this is um, some stoner uh, rocket release. Got this at Tap Plastics. It's a local um, plastic supply store in the Sacramento area. I think they're all over the country in the United States. And just gonna get a quick spray. And then I'm going to uh, go in there and get in these grooves with this and give it another spray just so we have a little uh, as problems as, as possible spraying this. And I'll give another little toot here. The edges too. There. That should do that. And now we're going to come back and uh, we'll uh, get the silicone mixed up. Thanks. Okay, for measuring the silicone, uh, what I did, a lot of times you have a big piece you want to mold. There's a rice method. You take some rice, pour it in there, pour it into a cup. You know how many ounces you need. Since this is such a slow profile, I just did the easy way is I just measured length times width times the depth of what I want the mold to be, which is approximately three eighths of an inch. And uh, I've got the cubic inches and then went on Google and converted uh, cubic inches to ounces, which is about 2.92. So I'm shooting for three ounces. So if there's any leftover, it's not that much, and not that much waste, and a little easier to uh, get together. Um, threw some water, uh, three ounces of water in a cup to measure it, then took another fresh cup and lined it off exactly where I needed to be. And then I have a scale right in front of you. Uh, this is a new one I just got. I think it's like under eight bucks on Amazon with Prime. It was free shipping, and I bought the uh, seven dollar uh, 500 gram uh, scale to um, or weight to uh, calibrate it, and it was a little off. It was like, like about five tenths of a gram off, but calibrated right away. It's uh, perfect now. So now I can throw my uh, silicone cup on there. We got 15.9 grams. We're gonna tear that. We got our silicone, and I'm gonna gently pour that in. There's a slow pour. It's all cool in here. Oh, <laughs> this is not gonna be fun. You know what, people? Ugh. I'm gonna stir this up a little bit, and I'll be back, and we'll uh, start from there. Thanks. We'll try this again. Stir it up a little bit. Got a little more play in it now. Pulse them out, that won't be a big deal. 
it, it's kind of, I mean, it's not that cold in here. It's in the probably high 50s, low 60s. That's probably more than enough. Let's see. Way too much. I'm going to have to scrape some of that out, and I'll be back. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, this stuff's a little just too thick to deal with right now. But, um, it's, hey, we're all learning this. And I've usually used the cheaper stuff, but I wanted to use a higher quality mold, molding or uh, silicone uh, molding material. And I actually probably have six ounces in there. So I'll be back and we'll get you going here. Thanks. Okay, got all that scraped out. God, it's like working with marshmallow topping. It's really weird. Well, it's not weird, it's just, you know, a little difficult. So we got 127.3 grams on the scale. So uh, one tenth of that would be 12.73 or 13. So uh, we'll tear that, and then we'll... Get this open. There's two grams, 4.6. Seven point eight, ten point six, thirteen. A little over. Oh, we're okay. Um, I'll scrape the sides, and we'll have uh, probably plenty left over. So I'm going to stir this up, and then um, do that off camera. I'm going to start it right there for you. Uh, this is going to be much easier to deal with. With this uh, fluid, makes it almost like the color of bubble gum. So I'm going to stir this up off camera, then we're going to degas it on uh, video, and we'll be back. See you in a few. Okay, we are back. We're ready to degas this. I got it all mixed together. Got the size down, scraped mostly. Uh, put a, maybe, a, maybe a couple tenths extra of the activator that I needed to, but I scraped down the sides really good, so I'm pretty happy with that. It's a nice, even pink color. I'm going to scrape all this off, and then... Uh, I'm gonna put this in the uh, vacuum chamber on that brick. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to, yeah, so you'll be able to see a lot of it. See if I get a little bit better right there. Okay, and then uh, I'll let it rip. up on the upper left over there and we'll see if we can see any bubbles sorry about that lamp and the uh probably in about five seconds we'll start seeing some bubbling i'm just going to show you it bubbling a little bit see it starting to expand i'm not going to do all this on camera and bore you with it I was going to use a smaller cup, I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> uh oh, there we go. See, does that reach its limit? So I'm going to let this go for a couple more minutes, then uh, we'll pull it out and pour, and then we'll push it in the pressure chamber. As usual, thank you for, uh, well, don't, you're going to be right back, so we'll see you in the next section. Thanks. Okay, and we're going to do our pour now. See now there's like no, a little, couple little bubbles left in it. It's kind of, speed as we're going. We're going to do what's called a high pour, and you just get one corner of your uh, item. I'm doing it pretty high right now, so let's try not to miss. Let's see if you can see my little cup. There we go. I'm just keeping this corner right here. So let it self-level self itself. It'll do all the work for you. 
Um, if it does start gooping up a little bit, but I think it's uh, it's nice leveling nicely for us. Try keeping those one corner and just let it keep going. It's got enough uh, viscosity to it. It's not overflowing on this one corner and it's slowly covering the rest of the uh, styrene bricks I made. So I'm going to keep doing this. Uh, this is boring, obviously. So uh, I'll just let you uh, watch this for a minute and 40 seconds. So we'll be back in a second when this is done pouring. And then uh, we'll pop in the pressure chamber. And then uh, we'll have to wait 24 hours to uh, take it apart. So uh, we'll, uh, there'll be seconds for you, but uh, it'll be 24 hours for the rest of us in the world. So uh, we'll see you in the next part of this video. Thanks for joining us. Okay, we are back. As you can see, we have the pressure chamber loaded up with the uh, mold. Um, Shot all level. That just took a couple minutes. A uh, couple of still bubbles are rising, but uh, those will get knocked out. That's what the pressure chamber is for. To take any other microscopic or small bubbles, it'll crush them. Uh, according to theory, with one of these. So what I'm going to do is uh, cap this on, and it's got a, a little plastic gasket on it. And hopefully it'll hold. I've had these blow out on me before. That's why it's important to wear protective clothing. And especially protect your eyes. Unless your stuff's under pressure, stuff can you know, fly around. I made a uh, gasket out of silicone once and it shot out like a bullet. It was kind of crazy. <laughs> but luckily I was wearing, I never got hit by it, but you know, just luckily I always uh, protect the clothing on while I do this. And kind of just cross thread your tight knees so you even. my hand first. Then we'll torque it down with the channel locks a little bit. It seems like every time you tighten one down, it gives another one across for a little more play. Stand it holds it very, very steady for me. I already have the uh, compressor charged. You might hear it kick in, most likely, you will. And if it Kind of over pressurization or anything. This has an emergency release valve right here, and uh, this is it right here. Let's kick it on. And the thing about pressurizing uh, resin or um, silicone, I don't have a lot of experience at it, but you know, watching YouTube and watching other people do it, it's right here between 40 and 60 pounds. I have this set at 55. Um, I might have to adjust the compressor a little bit. Uh, it is slowly reaching, I think. I hear no hissing or anything. We're doing good so far. And obviously nothing's exploding out of the uh, thing. That wouldn't be funny, it would happen, but it'd be a good YouTube uh, episode.
We're now at 40 pounds, which is uh, one person's suggestion. I'm gonna watch it manually go to 55 and I'm gonna turn it off. Because I do have the compressor, but so I'm not gonna trust it. So I'm gonna uh, take this and turn that off. We're good. I'm going to keep, uh, come and check on it every so often and keep the pressure up in it. So uh, when we open this tomorrow uh, afternoon, um, it'll be ready to uh, mix up some plaster and pour into it. It'll be awesome. So as usual, thank you for joining me, and uh, we'll see you in the next section. Actually, you know what? Let's make this part four. Uh, there's a lot of time invested in this. So uh, that'll be uh, part five will be a big reveal of the mold, and we'll start pouring from there. As usual, thank you for joining me.